you guys. Well, welcome, welcome to the new video. We are here in uh, in Bass Pro, as you guys can tell, and uh, I'm we're here in uh, in Jackson, Mississippi, and um, I'm. I haven't made as many videos as I've wanted to, but today I'm going to be going over like the top five, um, you just say like best like, spring baits um, and baits that I use a whole lot. Um, and so I'm gonna, I've got like five baits. I'm here in Bass Pro. I'm not going to buy them today, but I'm going to kind of go through them, um, show you guys, show you guys like the baits I would literally pick out here at Bass Pro. And uh, yeah, so the first one is a uh, charity bait right here and uh, we've got this is the uh, selection these a lot of these guys right here these are the z-man original chatter baits these are a lot of these guys these are great round beds the bass are spawning um, and it, it looks like a bluegill wandering around their uh, their bed and so that's a great color just a bluegill one um, also shad can be a great color um, but I, uh, I, I throw these almost all year round. Um, they're great baits. Um, and uh, yeah, so I love these ones. 559, not too bad. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, you can throw them on a uh, seven foot medium heavy uh, around somewhere, a rod around there. And uh, they work, they work perfect, perfectly fine. And then you can also pair those up with a, uh, like a swim bait trailer. Um, I use a lot of swim bait trailers. You can also pair them up with crawl bait, crawl fish style trailers, um, and throw them that way. But number bait number one is definitely a chatter bait. I love chatter baits, and uh, yeah. So other than that, let's hop on to bait number two. Alrighty, guys. So we're now on to bait number two, and uh, this one and a chatter bait. They're very similar, um, except for I use the this style bait. Uh, which is a, a swim bait. Okay, so um, right in here, I'm going to use for example the uh, 4.75 inch Rage Tail Rage Swimmer. These guys, or since I'm at Bass Pro, they've got the Bass Pro uh, Tournament Series or whatever you call it. Um, and these are uh, like 5 inch, 4.8 inch uh, Speed Chads. These guys right here. Um, they're they're very similar, very similar to a Kitek. So if you don't have these brands, a Kitek like 4.8 inch, I believe that's their size, uh, would work perfect. And what I use this for, um, you can throw it on beds, so it's great. Um, I love to throw them, um, slow roll them, uh, whenever the bass are pushing on up uh, to start bedding, and even right after the spawn when they're starting to push off deeper, you can slow roll them. You can reel them in fast obviously uh, but this is another great bait kind of goes hand in hand with a chatter bait but chatter baits I use a lot more and I guess you could say muddier water um, and these swim baits the reason why I use chatter baits and muddier water is they have that blade and a bass can feel and absorb that vibration a lot better through the lateral line than uh, like a swim bait pedal tail swim bait like this isn't going to put off as much vibration as a chatterbait would. So this is this style bait is a lot better in a little bit clearer water, um, and uh, so that's another great bait. 649 for the Rage Swimmer, and 5569 for the uh, Bass Pro uh, Bass Pro uh, Speed Chat. So either any one of those will work as well as a Kitek, the Swing Impact. Fats, I believe. I believe that's what they're called. Those will also work. So just any like five inch like paddle tail swim bait that looks like a Kitek swim bait or one of these guys will do the job. And you can rig that with a four aught, uh, one fourth ounce, quarter ounce uh, weighted swim bait hook, belly weighted swim bait hook. Those are really good. The one with the screws are great. Screw it in there. Your bait is not coming off. It'll last plenty of fish. So and that, let's hop into bait number three alrighty guys so bait number three I'm gonna say is a jig okay so I've, I've picked out two different types of jigs here we've got a swim jig and we've also got a flipping style jig uh, that you can flip brush with and that kind of thing so I'm using some of these striking jigs right here this is the hack attack flipping jig right here um, this is in uh, PB&J three-eighths of an ounce 
I, I haven't used this one, so I don't really know about it, um, but it's got a pretty decent head design. Um, it's got like a little screw lock thing where you can screw on your uh, your jig trailer, but just a good, uh, like a good flipping jig where you can flip some, uh, like some brush with, that kind of thing. These are uh, 529 each, and then we've got the, uh, this is the Kevin Van Dam series, striking swim jig in a bluegill color. You guys have seen this one being, being used a lot. Um, and uh, like I've stated before, bass hate bluegill um, in and around their beds, in the areas where they're gonna be spawning. And so you see bluegill around there and bass will demolish them. And so that's why several of these baits that I'm showing you guys in this video are um, imitate, imitate bluegill. Um, and it's just for that reason only because uh, bluegill love to eat bass eggs and uh, and so there therefore Bass try to defend their eggs and the bass will eat the bluegill. So um, That's a that's a pretty good one right there $4.99 not too bad. Um, you guys can also use uh, my company imitator baits uh, We also make a pretty good flipping jig. It's called our baller jig it's a ball head jig, uh, so you can use it for a lot of different stuff. Flipping, pitching, casting, you, you name it, it's a do it do it jig. Um, and then we also make an imitator baits swim jig, so you guys can check that out as well. We've got a great bluegill color one. And uh, yeah, so other than that, we're gonna get on to bait number four. And uh, yeah, hey guys, so we have bait number four right here. And for this one, I'm just gonna do like a Texas recrawl, a standard Texas recrawl. Texas rigs, they'll work all year round, but this one is specifically going to be like a, a Texas rig crawl and to where you, you're flipping it on brush, you're, you can cast it if you want to, uh, but specifically like flipping it on brush, rock piles, that kind of thing. So first of all, we've got the, uh, actually I'm gonna show you guys this one first. This one is like your all around stuff. I've, I've used this bait before, got plenty of fish doing it, and it is the uh, Zoom. Z hog right here. Uh, I've got quite a few packs of these guys. Uh, this one is in specifically watermelon red, and this is that's your beaver style bait. Okay, I believe those are like $3.99, $4.99, $4.29, something like that. You know, uh, but this is your this is your beaver style bait. Your little bit bulkier presentation, and then we've got the Strike King Rage Tail Rage Crawl right here. This is in big, big text. I'm not sure. I might actually pick this bit, pick this bait up uh, while I'm here because I've never seen this seen this color and it looks juicy. Um, but this is these go for $5.99. This one, the reason why I picked this one is it is a slender, more slender profile, but it has those two big pinchers on the back and they get give off lots of. Uh, vibration, lots of water displacement, and uh, it allows those bass to like feel the bait a little bit better. So um, that one, like I said, goes for $5.99. Um, this one I use a lot if I'm pitching near grass. Okay, so I'm, there's like a grass patch or so, um, and I'm seeing if there's any bass on that. I just flip it in there with a, on a Texas rig, and these guys you'll be able to feel each move that these little uh, little pinchers do on their way down and then you'll know when it hits the bottom because uh, they'll just obviously stop um, so these are a good one and uh, also the slender body allows it to uh, to go through the grass a whole lot easier um, than something like the z hog where it's a little bit bulkier presentation so other than that let's hop into bait number Five. Alrighty guys, so on to the last and final bait, bait number five. This one is going to be just like the last one of the Texas Rig Crawl. This one is going to be a wacky rigged Cinco, um, or a wacky rigged like stick bait style thing in general. Um, like the Guggen Baits, uh, Slim Shaker would work great on this. Uh, I'm going to be demoing or showing you guys the Yum Dinger, um, Gary Yamamoto stick baits obviously. Uh, Bass Pro stick baits, any any like really stick bait in general will work for this. Um, and this is kind of like your finesse presentation here. So um, the the pass baits you've been able to throw on a bait caster, that kind of thing. I want to scale it down a little bit, scale back to the basics, and just throw like a wacky rigged Cinco. Okay, so um, so obviously we've got the Yum Dinger right here. 
Uh, this is obviously just in like watermelon red or whatever. So it's a very basic color. Obviously it's gonna catch fish all over the country. Um, and then we've got a uh, Lake Fork Trophy Lures uh, ring fry. This is a four inch one. Uh, watermelon red once again uh, but these these have actually tiny little ridges you guys can see that um, and that puts off a lot of water displacement um, and those those ridges they're always moving giving off tons of action and uh, I haven't personally used these but if you guys have seen a uh, late fort guy he uh, he's worked with this company before and he's done several videos on that uh, on that bait in particular and caught in quite a few fish on them. So I know they're good. Um, I know that the action can be super juicy. And uh, like I said, just a just a, a, a freaking stick bait, you know? Casting it out on a spinning rod, just working it back, watching your rod tip. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's a very simple bait, very simple presentation to work and everything. And uh, yeah, so other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this little video. Uh, this is very different for me going into a store and like picking out the lures. Uh, you also get a lot of weird looks. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell, like people walking behind me and everything. Um, it's like they're almost about to close. It's like 9, no, 8.30 right now, and there's still quite a few people here looking at you and everything. So it's kind of weird, but... You know, you gotta do it for the viewers. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.